Hey, good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, world. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is your morning medicine. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. I'm going to read in verse 31 as well. I was rejoicing in his inhabited, inhabited world, delighting in the children of Adam. And now, sons, listen to me. Those who keep my ways are happy. Those who keep my ways are happy. One of the things that I think we sometimes have a problem with is faith. When you think about faith, just think about faith, things hoped for, the substance of the things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11. And when you think about that, the struggle that we have is because faith operates not based on what we have seen. Let me repeat that. Faith operates based on what we have not seen. And so sometimes that can be a struggle in itself. And that struggle, that struggle is, how can you expect me to believe when this decision has a lot of weight to it? And I think sometimes we get kind of discouraged because we want this thing to work out, whatever it is, because we deem that is important. And I think sometimes that becomes a struggle for us because we're trying to find this peace. We're trying to find this happiness. We're trying to find this solace of whatever the case may be. And we're looking for that. And it's hard for us because this other plan we have, we may have heard it work for this or we may have heard it work for that but yet we can actually just see it or we've seen the evidence that we've benefited from it or others have benefited from it and that becomes a struggle with us when it comes to faith because sometimes God's ways is not what we see I'm going to even say it like this Faith is based on what we don't see. So when God operates, God operates in a manner that's beyond our natural ability to see it. Because remember, we serve a God who goes from the end, who knows the end from the beginning. So God is always working from a different level than what, we, what we're working from. His height is different, meaning that he can see further and he has no fear about it. He has his, he has an understanding that there is nothing to fear. This is the important thing about Jesus and why Jesus walked this earth to show us this example. And that's our struggle. I struggle sometimes for this morning medicine that we haven't, we do not have the faith the way we should have the faith that God's ways are better. If we truly want to be happy in life, it's abiding in God and following his ways. I pause right there for a second because that's it. It's that simple. Yes, it's that simple. But we underestimate how much of a struggle that is. And the reality of it is sometimes we think some ways that we do things makes us happy. Yet only to come find out in the end, it only brings us sadness, anger, frustration, stress. All these things that it does. Because we haven't yielded to the mentality or the understanding that God's ways are always better. Well, what if I don't see it? I don't need to see it. I just have to have faith and follow. 
I just have to have faith and follow. Yeah, I know. It, it. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. I know you don't want to forgive that person. I know it's tough. I know what they've done to you. I, I know, I know, I know. But yet God says, forgive them for I won't forgive you. So if God says these things, and regardless of if I can't see myself, watch this. If I can't see myself forgiving somebody, I can't see myself letting it go. Yet God, because of you and my faith in you, God, you told me to forgive. I'm just going to follow you. Faith and follow. I'm just going to follow you. So Lord, help me, Lord, because my heart right now is hard. But yet you said, God, based on you forgiving me, Lord, that I want to forgive them. Not based on me, but based on you. Do you see? And I'm telling you, one thing that does is that it exhibits faith in God because I don't have the ability to forgive. Why? Because that thing is too heavy, weighty for me. I'm stuck. I don't want to forgive. And that's where faith comes in, operating by faith that it's God, trusting God would help me forgive. I just got to be willing. I got to be willing to have faith in him and then follow him. The following part was me yielding to God and saying, Lord, I'm willing to forgive them. Lord, I'm willing to forgive them. I want to forgive them because you forgave me. And I'm telling you one thing we don't understand when we allow God to start working on issues like that with our heart. We don't even understand what life will be like when we stop carrying that burden. But he is the burden carrier for Matthew chapter 11 says. He says his burden is light. Let him carry it. He says, for you all are weary, come to me and get rest. And I'm telling you, that's where God is trying to show us that it's always better. We'll be a lot happier if we just yield it all to him. Faith and follow. I'm not, look, I know some even some roles, some things, where it be your marriage, you want your marriage to be happy, follow God. If you're planning to be married and you want this thing to work, faith and follow God. But what if God tells us not to, uh, well, you know, I want to move in with him. I love him so much. Follow God. Have faith that you don't have to move in with that person just to see if they're the right person. No, have faith in God to show you and just follow his ways. Honor God in a relationship. Honor God with your job. Honor God when it comes to how he how to work that thing out. Rather be a promotion, rather be this, rather be that. We allow our minds to be so bombarded with all these type of things when we just need to have faith and follow God. If you're looking for happiness, the only way for true happiness is him. Look at what wisdom says in Proverbs 8. And now listen to me and those who keep my ways are happy. That emphasis of happy is, is communicating in the scripture that this is a state of being if you do this. And wisdom says it only references God. Wisdom focuses, it says, I sat by and I watched God do this. And I'm telling you, I just rejoiced when I saw the work of God. And wisdom says, that's what I want to do with you. If you allow God to just have his way in your life, there's rejoicing that comes with that because of him working in your life. And wisdom says it sits by and watches it. And he just rejoices. Because it understands if God is working, 
It will always turn out for my good. I just have to have faith and follow. So I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what we're going to face today. But I know this. If I want to experience the happiness, true happiness, I got to learn to have faith and follow. Not part of it, not some of it. No, he wants all of it. Faith and follow. The Bible says be slower to speak and quicker to listen. You know sometimes why you get yourself in trouble because you're too quick to speak all the time. How about you just sit back and listen? You don't have to say something all the time. Just listen. And I'm telling you, sometimes we come with our spouses. Why? We, we want to argue. You don't have to argue. How about you just pick up the shirts on the ground? Just put the towel in the towel basket. How about you just do it? The Lord says, greater is a servant. And what I'm just saying is you got to have faith and follow. I know it doesn't look like it's going to fix it. I know it looks still chaotic. But if God is in it, just have faith in him working by following his commands to allow him to work. Faith and follow. I don't know how he's going to work it out. But I tell you this. You'll be a lot more happier if you allow him to work it out instead of you continue to try to work it out. This is your morning medicine. Faith and follow. If you want to experience true happiness, his ways are always better. Notice I didn't say sometimes better, part time better, half time better. No, it's always better. I don't have to understand. <laughs> I just have to have faith. And follow. This is your morning medicine. Have faith and follow. His ways are always better.